Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, and have you ever wondered how to determine a good real estate investment? Well, it is not as complex as you may think. In the realm of real estate, there exists a simple yet incredibly effective rule of thumb to guide investors. It is known as the 1% rule. But what exactly is this rule, and how does it apply to real estate investment? Allow me to explain. The 1% rule is a strategy used by real estate investors to determine the potential profitability of a rental property. It states that a property should rent for 1% or more of its total upfront cost. So, for a property that costs $200,000, the monthly rental income should ideally be at least $2,000. This rule serves as a quick and easy way to screen potential real estate investments. It allows investors to gauge whether a property is likely to generate a positive cash flow, considering all the other costs associated with owning and managing a rental property. Now, let's delve a little bit deeper into why this rule is so beneficial. Firstly, it simplifies the initial evaluation process. By providing a clear benchmark, the 1% rule helps investors to quickly identify properties that could offer a strong return on investment. Secondly, it encourages financial discipline. By sticking to this rule, investors are less likely to overpay for properties, which can lead to better financial outcomes in the long run. Lastly, it offers a degree of predictability. While it is not a foolproof method, it does provide a reasonable estimate of a property's rental income potential, which can help investors to make more informed decisions. Now let's explore another interesting application of the 1% rule, determining the price of an offer. In real estate, the rental value is largely dependent on the market and cannot be significantly adjusted. So, if you apply the 1% rule and the calculation shows a return of less of 1% per month, this could be an indication that the property is overpriced. And on the other hand, if the return is over 2%, it is a potential red flag. A return on investment this high is often unrealistic and might indicate that something is amiss, such as hidden maintenance costs or even legal issues with the property. So, while the 1% rule is a simple way to screen potential investments, it can also be a useful tool in deciding on an offer price. By ensuring that the price aligns with the likely rental income, you can maximize your chances of a profitable investment. But before you start applying this rule, remember that it is not without its limitations. It does not account for factors like property appreciation, tax advantages, or other potential benefits of owning a rental property. Therefore, it's essential to consider these aspects and consult with a trusted real estate advisor before making any investment decisions. In summary, the 1% rule is a simple yet powerful tool for evaluating potential real estate investments. It provides a quick way to assess a property's rental income potential, encourages financial discipline, and offers a degree of predictability. However, it should be used in conjunction with other tools and strategies, and always alongside the guidance of a trusted real estate advisor. So, whether you're a seasoned real estate investor or just starting out, don't forget to consider the 1% rule in your decision-making process. It could make the difference between a good investment and a great one. Finally, it is important to mention that although the 1% rule is a helpful guideline, it is not the end-all be-all. It is crucial to remember that not every property that falls out of the 1% rule should be just dismissed outright. There are certain factors that this rule does not account for especially when it comes to emerging markets. Consider, for instance, the emerging areas of Tulum and Playa del Carmen. These are newer markets still in their growth stages and may not yet meet the 1% rule. Yet, given the anticipated growth and upcoming infrastructure developments in these areas, these properties could offer substantial returns in the short to medium term. In such cases, you could potentially acquire a premium property at a lower price. And as the market matures, you might find that your investment far outpaces the expected 1% return. This strategy requires a keen eye for potential and a willingness to take calculated risks. So, while the 1% rule is an excellent starting point, it is important to consider each investment opportunity in its own merits. A property that doesn't meet the 1% rule today could be tomorrow's gold mine, especially in high-growth emerging markets like Tulum and Playa del Carmen. Don't be afraid to look beyond the 1% rule and seize these opportunities as they present themselves. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and contact us if you want to learn more about investment properties in the Riviera Maya. Thank you, my friends. To the next one.